Hello friends, I am Dr. Riddhi Doshi. I am a fertility specialist working at Babishi Fertility Institute in Mumbai. Today I am going to uh, talk about the process of IVF. What is IVF? How does the process work? I am going to answer these questions in the most simple way possible. So IVF actually means in vitro fertilization. That is the union of the male gamete which is the sperm and the female gamete which is the egg. That fertilization when done outside the body it is called as IVF or in vitro. Now sperms can be directly retrieved through the semen sample by the masturbation process. Eggs cannot be retrieved directly from the body of the woman. For that purpose hormonal injections are given to the woman for a period of 10 to 12 days to stimulate her ovaries to grow the number of follicles. Then that follicular fluid is aspirated through a sonography probe uh, with a needle puncture method and through that follicular fluid the eggs are isolated under a microscope. The eggs which are retrieved are graded as per their maturity and the mature eggs are selected for fertilization. The fertilization of the egg and the sperm can be done by two ways. One is the conventional IVF method in which the sperm and the eggs are simply kept together in a petri dish and allowed to fertilize. The second method which is now more commonly used is called as ICSI that is intracytoplasmic sperm injection. Here the sperm is individually selected and injected in the egg and that's how the fertilization is done. This process occurs in the laboratory under strict uh, aseptic conditions and performed by an embryologist. Once the fertilization is done the embryos start to grow and they have certain number of days through which they progress. The mature, the good quality high grade embryos are then transferred into the uterus through a very thin catheter. This is an office procedure called as embryo transfer and it is a painless simple procedure which is done. Once the embryos are transferred, medications are given for 2 weeks which involve the support medications of estrogen and progesterone hormone. Thereafter, the pregnancy test is done through a blood test where the hormone level of beta HCG is checked. If the beta HCG level is positive, then the pregnancy is confirmed. This is how the entire process of IVF works. It is a simple process and there is a lot of misconception regarding it being very complicated or causing a lot of hardship to the patient. I hope I have been able to settle this issue. Thank you.